Edward Brooke is the first black American to be elected to the United States Senate. The Massachusetts Republican is extremely popular with all the people of his state. The state's other senator, Ted Kennedy, and the NAACP honored Brooke after his election. The National Association for the Advancement of Colored People proudly awards the 52nd Spingarn Medal to Edward W. Brooke, first Negro to win public election to the United States Senate. It is somewhat ironic, but I think true, that the existence of the Civil Rights Movement is both an affirmation and an indictment of what we believe about America and about ourselves as Americans. The movement exists because of the lag between what was promised nearly two centuries ago and what is actually accorded to Negro Americans in terms of their rights, dignity, and the opportunity to lead significant lives. The potential for greatness of this country has for more than a century been diminished by a system which denies citizens the opportunity to enrich their nation as well as fulfill their own capabilities. The cause of civil rights moves forward in the deepest interests of America and its people. It is a profound affirmation of all that we are and that all that we hope to become. Edward Brooks says that as a youngster, his minority status never caused him to feel underprivileged. As an adult, Senator Brooks provides inspiration for today's young people. I remember when I was a young boy, I had a grandmother who used to say to me, Edward, remember your place. You may not know what she meant at that time, but I did. And her admonition to me was, based upon her desire to protect me. Perhaps some of you have had your parents or your grandparents say to you, remember your place at all times, meaning thereby that you should never get out of your place because it might be injurious to you. I understood and I was most sympathetic with my grandmother, but the advice was always something that disturbed me. Because I always believed, and I ask you to believe, that your place on this earth is any place you want to make it. I suggest to you that you be self-sufficient and independent. No matter what your opportunities may be, try to walk as far as you can by yourself. Life was never intended to be a stagnant pool. I say to you, go out into the stream, into the rapids. Oh, it might be dangerous and you might get some cuts along the way and some bruises. But it will be exhilarating and embracing and you'll be alive and you'll be moving and you'll be living and you will get great reward from having made the swim. No matter how you look or how you feel, be proud of what you are as an individual. Thank you.